All right, good afternoon everybody. Today in the shop we have this all-wheel drive Husqvarna mower. Um, I bought this probably four or five years ago. So this is what I used to mow my old property and I haven't used it since we moved to this new property here uh, in Cottage Grove. But before I stopped using it, the last property, the all-wheel drive, the drive system altogether stopped working. And uh, I'm pretty sure, 99% sure that it's a belt that went out. I got a belt here, but we've been in this new property for about two and a half years. So this thing hasn't, this thing has sat for three winters basically. So we got a couple things going for us. One, we got to replace this belt, check all the other drive system components, make sure they're okay. And then, Secondly, we got to go through this thing and make sure it's ready to run again. You know, we might have to get a little gas out of it, probably need to do an oil change, check the spark plug, all that stuff to get this thing back in service. And I'm actually going to sell it, I think, before we leave, so I have one less thing that I need to move. So that's kind of what's driving getting this thing done. It's got oil in it. It's not the prettiest, so I think we'll go ahead and do an oil change on that. But, uh, so let's start, let's just start with the belt system. Let's get the belt system all figured out, make sure everything's good there, and then we'll worry about getting it running again after sitting for, for three years, basically. So this, we're definitely dealing with a mouse nest situation now. All right, I don't know if you guys saw that, but I just drug this glove out of under here. And uh, it appears that we definitely have a mouse nest situation because there's no way this would have gotten in there. Uh, it must be a pretty big mouse or rat or something because that's pretty big to get in there. See what else we got in here. Oh my. Hopefully he's not still home. Oh look at that, a second glove. Oh. This mouse likes gloves. Look at that. You see uh, all the holes in it? Oh my goodness, my wife has lost a pair of gloves. A couple, three pairs of gloves to this thing. All right, well, let's, well, let's dig deeper. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and pull the blade off because I'm gonna go, I'm probably gonna sharpen it. Yeah, I'll give it a quick sharpening before we send it out the door. We're just gonna get that out of the way and then we gotta get this cover off, which is hiding uh, quite the mouse's home, apparently. Bolt. Blade. Yeah, it's pretty dinged up in some spots. We'll get that cleaned up before we put it back on. So we got that out of the way. Now we gotta figure out how this comes off of here. Appears to be a few, a few bolts. Small bolts to hold it on. I believe these are 3 8 let's see. Yep, we got 3 8 heads on, on them. So let's pull those in. One, there's two. 
All right, so this has got a couple of little clips right here. You got to go on the outside, pinch those or press on them with a pry bar or something. Get that guy out of the way. Next is this one. All right, so if you rotate the wheel up high enough, you're going to expose that one. All right, we got to do the same on that side. Rotate it up. Grab that bolt out of there. All right, flip it back up. Okay, so those two edges are clear. Oh, there we go. Wow, okay. That is bad. There's another glove and another glove and a bunch of trash. Yeah, gross. this we've got our belt here and there's some spots in it that are really burnt up completely so once those spots make their way around the crank pulley here it basically just stops turning the wheels there's a couple things going on here I think we basically need to pull these wheels off that'll free that from around here then we got to come up here and we got to take a cover off that covers the front of the belt here, where the belt hooks around the front wheels. And then up here, we have it hooking around here. And there's also a couple of bolts there that we need to take off. We're gonna disconnect this little spring. And we're gonna hang on to that. Put that back in before we're done. And then that releases this. And then we still have this guy in here. Let's see if we can pull that out. Yep, so we got that out of the way. Now this thing can pivot all the way up. So there are a couple of quarter inch bolts that hold on this little guard that basically keeps the belt in place there. I think if we disconnect here first, we can loosen this up more and it'll just pivot all the way up and then we can easily get to those holding that on there. So let's get these out of here. It's an 11 or 7 sixteenths. So it looks like everything is standard thread in this. We got quarter inch bolts, we got six, seven sixteenths, and three eighths bolts. So there's one. Check the bearing on that. That's okay. Definitely could use a little bit of lubricant. Okay. Oh yeah, that one feels good. Alright, and now, uh oh, that one feels seized. Okay, so flip this guy all the way up. Yep, we got full access. We get all that junk out of there. And we got two quarter inch bolts. So flip this all the way up. quarter-inch bolt those for our wheels and then this guy here comes right off see that's where the two quarter-inch bolts were and then your belt is free so we got it free from there you can see when you spin this it spins those wheels there this feels good Needs a little bit of cleaning, but other than that, that feels good. We're gonna have to order these, um, unfortunately. I mean, this one feels fine. And this one feels, a this one is seized completely. I might be able to unseize it. This one feels a little sticky and I might be able to make it better, but to do it right, we're gonna have to replace these three idler wheels. So I gotta order those parts, I don't have those. 
So what we're gonna do is we're gonna finish stripping this thing. We're gonna get the belt out of here. We're gonna make sure everything in here is fine. And then I'll probably put the belt back in here and then we'll order these three pulleys and we'll come back and we'll finish up the job by reconnecting everything. But for now, let's keep moving and let's get, let's get this belt off. So the first, one of the things that you need to do is you gotta remove this cover. And uh, you know, I'm not 100% sure which bolts hold that cover on, so I'm just gonna give it a shot. We've got one quarter inch, or one three eighths depth, one there. Yep, that loosened it up a lot. Then we got one there, and one here under this motor, or under, yeah, under this um, transmission, differential. We can get one bolt there that holds that. Holds the motor there. Let's see what that does for us. Okay, that, one, that loosened that up. I think we gotta pull this bolt here. This one is holding, this one holds the belt in place. I believe. Yep, see that long one there? That just helps keep the belt from coming off. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to take the wheel off. This wheel off because it's just, it's just easier. 114 or 9 sixteenths. Pull that wheel off. Look at the gear on the wheel. It's got a metal gear. That's what drives it. Looks good. We got a metal gear here from the transmission and the axle. That looks good. Pull this guy off. Okay. Cover. Okay. Now we've exposed the two bolts holding the, the axle in. You can see right here. And there's one right here. So first we're going to get this one. out. We're going to take this over. 7 sixteenths. That's out. Alright, right. well that exposes that first one a little bit better. And get that one. Holding the plastic cover in. And then we've got another one on this side that's completely behind the motor or behind the transmission differential. I remember the words. So we loosen that up. Get that out of the way. I am. There we go. Alright, that cover just fell off. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip you back over oh, show you guys what we got going on here. Okay, so here's our cover filled with stuff. Wow. Flat. I can't say that that's the best design. Considering all that stuff just sits up under the deck there. And this thing doesn't, this thing is not easy to take off. So other than, um, other than undoing those four bolts there in the corners, there's this one tab here that you just got to push out of the way. It hooks on right here, I believe. Yeah, it hooks right into here. So you just push that out of the way. This whole thing will come out. So now that we're done there, let's take our belt. Let's see if it's the same belt to start with, or close. So let's hold those up together, yep. About the same length, 0522, made in the USA. Well, that's a different number. 5803646609. I don't think we're gonna be able to see any numbers on this old belt, but that's what we got on this, 5803646609. 
From this point, it's pretty simple. We're just gonna feed this belt back through here, you know, back into the housing, and it goes around this pulley. That's it. Okay. And then before, I told you there was a bolt, this guy, that holds, that holds the belt from coming out. And I believe it goes into this hole, yep. These are going in, this bolt is going into plastic, so be weary of that. All right, so now I'll show you guys. There's that belt right there, or that bolt. There's that bolt right there coming up that keeps the belt from coming off of that pulley. So now, yeah, I mean, you can get it off if you really want to, but that holds it in place. So now we can pop this guy back on. Just like that. And then let's see if we can get these bolts back in. Like I said, these are going into plastic, so be gentle as I hit it with the impact. Okay. Then I got that one is an easy one to get to right here. Okay, and then this last one pain. I think they would have made it easier to take easier to take that cover off. Even more though. Okay, then make sure that goes back in there. Okay, so there's these two tangs right here that kind of index where this thing goes. So it's pretty simple to line that back up. And then we got our two small 11s or 7 16 bolts. We want to get that going, but not tightened up yet. Okay, so we got that one started. And we're going to rotate that out of the way so we can get our second bolt. What did I do with you? There it is. Second bolt there. That one we can send home. Okay. Rotate that out of the way again. Send that one home. We'll check both of those with a wrench. Make sure they're good. Okay, now we can put our wheel assembly back, up, back on, which consists of this backing plate. It goes like this. Just like that. And then a big washer, like that. And then our wheel, like that. And then our 9 16 head nut. All right, wheel assembly is back together. So, as you can see here, we've got our belt in here. It's ready to go around the pulley here and around all of our pulleys, just like that, kind of like that, and then back onto our rear But Like I was telling you guys, we got to get the new, we got to get new idler pulleys. I'm going to go ahead and do that, and then you guys will see me in a few seconds with new idler pulleys. Okay, so I remembered that we still have to get this mower running, so, um, I flipped it back over, I made sure that belt is completely out of the way, and we're going to start going through and seeing what we got here. First, I want to look at the intake. Yep, a bunch of junk in there. 
Ooh, clean behind the filter though, so I'm gonna bang this filter out real quick and we'll put it back in there. <clears throat> Cotton. All right, so I banged it out, took the air hose to it. That looks good. So, air filter, check. All right. Let's take a look at our spark plug. That looks good, just dirty. So I'm gonna go take a wire wheel to it, clean it up. All right, so I have a little, I have a really light wire wheel on one of my bench grinders and uh, I just use that to clean it up, but you can use a regular wire brush, piece of sandpaper, whatever to get that clean. The gap looks to be about right in there, so I'm not gonna worry about that. We're gonna throw it back in there, and that should be good. Tighten that up. Don't go crazy with it. Bam, there we go. Now, I wanted to change the oil on this. Well, the question is, where is the drain plug for this thing? Or do we just dump it out? Let's see, I think we might just dump it out. Just tipping it over that way would just dump it out, so that's what we're gonna do. All right, so we're just gonna pull the dipstick out. Got oil on there. It actually doesn't look that bad at all. I don't remember when I changed the oil last. I'm sure I did at some point. But let's do it again. That oil really isn't bad. I must have changed it not that long ago. We did make a little bit of a mess. take much. Oh, it looks good. Yep, I think that's full. We'll check it again after we run it. But let's see. So this thing has three year old gas in it, but it's clear gas, it's not ethanol, and it is, let's see, let's make sure this belt is nowhere near this thing. Three year old gas, but it is clear gas, meaning no, it has no ethanol in it, so let's just pull it and see what happens. sounds super quiet compared to normal but like I said it's not spinning the blade so yep oil looks good a little bit full if anything so yeah now we're just waiting on those idler pulleys I'll see you guys in a minute or in a couple seconds when those idle idler pulleys come in 
All right, so here it is. We're back with the mower. It's a couple days later, and we've got some genuine Husqvarna pulleys here. So, got two like this and one like that. One that goes on there, and two get bolted there. Oh, let's see if we can remember what we're doing here. This guy here goes that way. Okay, and it goes around there, and it goes around that one, just like that. And this one. All right, so we shouldn't have these in. Because these are hindering me putting that guard back on. So, scratch that. Take those back off. Okay, with those not in there, then I can flip this thing all the way out, no problem. I just have to make sure the belt is where it needs to be, which is just in the pulley, in the groove there. All right, so these are quarter inch head. They do go into plastic, so you gotta be somewhat gentle with them. Okay. Now we can route our belt. Put our pulleys in. Remember that little spring you took out there in the beginning that goes under there? <clears throat> Don't forget that little guy. Hooks into a hole in the in that uh, belt guide and then into this slotted hole here. Okay. Okay, so we have a couple of guards, right? We gotta remember how all this crap went together. Forgot the cable. The cable's gotta go back in its home, which is down here, right? Spring back up. All right, we're good. Okay, it's so on this side of the belt. You can see the tab. All right, there it is. There it is. There, get that little tab in there. Okay, it's found its home. Okay, and then this, I believe, also ties into there. The tab. Okay, find your tabs. All right, Put your tab in there. Press that in. That guy goes there. That goes like that. Another tab. Clip, whatever you want to call it. Okay, all of our clips in place. That in place. We got a bolt for that. Let's see if we can get this thing started. There we go. Okay, there's that one. And then we just got the plastic ones. So there's a plastic one that goes right there. That locks that in. That's locked in by that tab and that, I guess. And then there's these two that are hidden behind the wheels. Plastic screw home. Okay. All right, so I went and sharpened up the blade. So we're gonna toss this guy back on here. She's good to go. That's upside down. Okay. Okay. All right, so we gotta rotate this wheel completely up and out of the way. There's our screw hole. Okay, so that locks that thing down. Okay, bring that back up. 
in between. One more over here. Okay. This is the screw that holds the front the front gearbox or the front differential to the side of the housing. Okay, that's all the bolts. Everything looks good. Let's get this back where it belongs. Okay, that's all locked in place. We got our bolts for the axle up there. Back in place, we got our belt routed. We got our sharpened blade on. We got all of our plastic shrouds back in. New belt, new idler pulleys. Let's see if this thing works. All right, so we got this thing all tuned up. Let's fire it up, see if it works. in a couple weeks and it's just one less thing to move I haven't used it in two and a half years and he's wanting one that he can do his back hill with and this thing has all-wheel drive so it's a perfect fit um, but yeah so I hope this helps somebody else out there who needs to replace one of these belts or the idler pulleys or needs to do a tune-up on this um, like I said I hope if somebody finds it useful and instructional i hope some of you found it also entertaining thank you guys for watching we'll catch you on the next one